To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Visit our channel and get more learning videos under playlist option. There you can find current affairs, daily vocabulary, banking awareness, aptitude and much more. Hello friends, I am Dipali from Example. Thank you for showing us the continuous support for our current affairs show. You can take the online mock test for IBPSPO exam at our application or our website from the given link below. We are changing our current affairs show from daily to weekly from this month. This show would go live by 8 pm every Friday night. In this session, we are going to see a compilation of the current affairs for the September 2017 in the national topic, which can also be further classified into places and states. Beginning this month, the health authorities will commence a nationwide program to test every tuberculosis patient for signs of resistance to other first-line drugs. The other than providing a realistic assessment on the scale of resistance to the commonly available tuberculosis drug, experts said that this could also reveal a large number of hidden tuberculosis patients as well as greater number of those with multiple infections of TB and HIV. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. What is the WHO's TB statistic for India for 2015 out of global incidence of 9.6 million your options are option a 1 million option b 1.5 million option c 2.2 million option c 3 million option e 3.4 million you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below The correct answer is 2.2 million. The WHO's TB statistics for India for 2015, the latest available, given an estimate of incidence figure of 2.2 million cases of TB for India out of global incidence of 9.6 million. The government on Thursday extended by four months the deadline for linking PAN card with the biometric identifier Aadhaar card till December 31st. The deadline for linking PAN card with Aadhaar card for taxpayers was to end on Thursday. This comes at a time when the government has granted a similar extension for furnishing of Aadhaar for availing benefits of the various social welfare schemes. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which of the following statement is or are correct by making Aadhaar card mandatory for filing income tax and PAN card? It will greatly help India's GDP. For this, government had added Section 139AA to Income Tax Act 1961 through Finance Act 2017 can benefit of various social welfare schemes. Your options are Option A1 only, Option B2 only, Option C3 only, Option D2 and 3 only. Option A, 1 and 3 only. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is 2 and 3 only. A 70 year old girl S. Anita, who had scored 1,176 out of 1,200 marks in her class 12th state board examination but was unable to join MBBS course due to the poor scores in need, ended her life in Ariano district on the Friday. The daughter of a daily wage laborer hailing from Kuzumur village near Sindhudurai here had impleted herself as one of the respondents in a Supreme Court challenging need. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which state opposed introduction of NEET UG exam in 2012 by MIC? Your options are Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, Gujarat, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Rajasthan. Your options are option A1 only, option B2 only, option C3 only, option D1 and 2 only, option E2 and 3 only. 
You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is 1 and 2 only. Several states including Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Gujarat, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu strongly opposed the change, stating that the, there was a huge variation in the syllabus proposed by the MIC and their state syllabi. The Supreme Court has agreed to hear an urgent plea made by two Rohingya Muslim immigrants against the government's proposed move to deport their 48,000 strong refugee community back to their native Myanmar where discrimination and possibly the summary executions await them. A bench of Chief Justice of India Deepak Mishra and Justices A. M. Khanikar and D. Phi Chandra Chaud decided to hear the plea of Muhammad Salimi and Muhammad Shakir for the protection of the life and liberty of their community on September 4. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. What is the role of UNHCR? Your options are option A to ensure that the rights of refugees and asylum seekers remain protected. Option B conducts the refugee status determination under its mandate for asylum seekers. Option C giving national identity cards to the refugee. Option D of A and B only. Option E A and C only. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is option A and B only. The government of India has issued an alert against Locky ransomware, a high intensity virus that can lock your computer and demand ransom for unlocking them. As per the alert, Locky is already doing rounds through spam mails and is using the fake download links to bait the users. The alert comes only a month after the India was hit by WannaCry ransomware attack. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. What is the name of the new ransomware in which the government has issued an alert? Your options are option A Leakware, option B Locky, option C Reventon, option D Fuzbo, option E WannaCry. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is Locky. The World Bank in a recent report titled The Strengthening Safety of Indian Railways has proposed several recommendations. Among them, the most prominent are painting trains yellow, having fire extinguisher on every train and providing the 4 hour maintenance sessions on all the main lines and providing high visibility clothing for the employees. It also proposes ditch slides for trains to make them more visible at the night. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which of the following measures are correct regarding the strengthening safety of Indian railways? Painting trains red, 9 hour maintenance sessions on all main lines, providing high visibility clothing for employees. Your options are one only option b2 only option c3 only option d1 and 2 only option e1 2 and 3 you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below the correct answer is three only the most prominent measures are painting trains yellow having fire extinguisher on every train providing 4 hour maintenance session on all the main lines and providing high visibility clothing for the employees. The man who predicted 2008 global financial crisis also presaged the damage that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cash ban would cause to India's economy. Raghuram Rajan was the governor of RBI in February 2016 
when he was asked by the government for his views on demonetization according to the rajan's book i do what i do for the first time he has spoken of about his experience in the country let's take a look at the question related to this topic what is the book written by raghuram rajan who is the ex governor of rbi option a i do what i do option b i and the short face option c i am what i am option d lost in the battle option e i did what i can you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below the correct answer is i do what i do as a part of the center's outreach program a home minister rajnath singh is expected to visit the jammu and kashmir from september 9 to september 11 the visit comes about after 3 weeks the prime minister narendra modi had said that the bullets or abuses will not resolve the kashmir issue and it can only be addressed by embracing the kashmiri let's take a look at the question related to this topic who became the first governor of jammu and kashmir your options are option a bhagwan sahai option b dr karan singh option c lakshmi kant ja option d braj kumar nehru option e none of these you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below The correct answer is Dr. Karan Singh. On March 30th, 1965, Karan Singh became the first governor of Jammu and Kashmir. The Supreme Court said that the attacks on innocents by co-vigilantes must be stopped. It ordered the states and the union territories to appoint nodal police officers in every district to crack down on such groups. BJP ruled Haryana Rajasthan Maharashtra and Gujarat accepted the apex court suggestion to appoint the decided officers in the rank of deputy superintendent of the police to prevent the gaurakshaks as they call themselves from taking the law onto their hands and becoming a law into themselves let's take a look at the question related to this topic Which article ensures the compliance with the laws made by the parliament and any existing laws which apply in that state Your options are option A article 252 article 256 option C article 262 option D article 266 option E article 270 You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below The correct answer is Article 256 in the Constitution of India 1949 ensures the com- compliance with the laws made by parliament and any existing laws which apply in that state. Indian roads have become deadlier than ever in 2016 with a total of 1.51 lakh people dying in 4.81 lakh accidents as per the official data released on Wednesday. This denotes that a 3% increase in fatalities over the previous year even as the number of accidents declined by 4.1 percentage indicating a rise in the severity of the accidents. According to the report Road Accidents in India 2016 released by Road Transport and Highway Minister Nitin Gadkari in 2016 55 accidents and 17 deaths took place every hour which works out to a death of every 3.5 minutes on indian roads let's take a look at the question in the national topic which state recorded the highest number of road accidents in 2016 your options are option a tamil nadu option b uttar pradesh option c karnataka option d andhra pradesh option e madhya pradesh you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below The correct answer is Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is the state with the maximum number of road crash injuries. 
24 years after 12 bombs exploded across the various locations in Mumbai on March 12, 1993, which killed 257 people, the trial that came to a conclusion with the Special Terrorist and Disputive Activities Prevention Act, court awarding the capital punishment to Feroz Khan and Tahir Merchant, who is also known as Takalia, on Thursday. The court sentenced the underworld gangster Abu Salim on Karim Mullah Khan to lifetime imprisonment. Riya Siddiqui was sentenced to imprisonment for 10 years. Let's take a look at the question related to national. On which date the city of Mumbai was rocked by 13 explosions in different part of the city which resulted in 257 fatalities and over 700 were injured. Your options are option A March 12 1993 option B March 12 1994 Option C March 11 1994 Option D March 10 1994 Option E March 12 1995 You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below The correct answer is March 12 1993 On March 12, 1993, the city of Mumbai was rocked by 13 explosions in different parts of the city that resulted in 257 fatalities and over 700 were injured. The Trump administration has told the US Congress that it strongly supports the sale of F-18 and F-16 fighter planes to India, built by American companies Boeing and Lockheed Martin respectively. Both the companies have offered to assemble these planes in India should New Delhi decide to buy them. President Donald Trump is in principle against the companies relocating the facilities abroad and a written submission to a congressional subcommittee by Alice Wells who is acting assistant secretary of state for South and Central Asian Affairs clarified the administration's position on the issue. Let's take a look at the question related to national Which of the following fighter jet is of the Indian origin? Your options are option A Sukhoi Su 30 MKI, option B Hal Tejas, option C Mikyan MIG 29, option D Assault Mirage 2000, option E SEPECAT Jaguar. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is health ages. Vivek Goenka, chairman and managing director of the Express Group and N Ravi, former editor in chief of the Hindu, were on Thursday anonymously elected as chairman and vice Pre- vice chairman respectively of the Press Trust of India. Mr Goenka who is 60 succeeds Riyad Mathew and Mr Ravi 69 succeed Mr Goenka as vice chairman the election took place at a meeting of the board of directors following the company's 69th annual general meeting here let's take a look at the question related to national who is elected as the press trust of india chairman your options are option a n ravi option b riyad mathew option c vivek goenka option d sharma divakar option e Agarwal SK you have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below The correct answer is Vivek Goenka Vivek Goenka who is the chairman and managing director of the Express Group Civil Aviation Minister Mr Ashok Gajapati Raju has called for a meeting with the airline chiefs on Friday to seek their views on enhancing the bilateral air traffic quota to and from Dubai as domestic airlines have been changing the stance on the issue the official has said Private domestic carriers SpiceJet Indigo and Jet Airways had anonymously asked the government not to enhance the bilateral quota between Dubai and India 
The airlines had demanded a commitment for getting the preferred slots at Dubai's prime airport before going for a renegotiation of the bilateral quota which had been exhausted by both Indian and Dubai airlines. Let's take a look at the question related to national. What is the India's rank in aviation market in the world? Your options are option A first, option B fourth, option C second, option D fifth, option E third. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is third. India has emerged as the third largest aviation market in the world with a passenger traffic of over 10 crore reported in 2016 and 17. US is currently the world's largest aviation market. UIDAI Chief A.B. Pandey was on Friday appointed the Interim Chairman of the Goods and Service Tax Network which is also known as GSTN. The firm providing IT backbone and portal for registration and tax returns under the GST regime. Pandey was given the additional charge after days of GSTN's first chairman Naveen Kumar completed his term on August 29th and ordered issue by the Department of Revenue under the Ministry of Finance said that the A.B. Pandey, who is the CEO of Unique Identification Authority of India, is assigned the additional charge of the post of Chairman GSTN with the immediate effect and until the further orders. Let's take a look at the question related to National. Who is the new Chairman for Goods and Service Tax Network? Your options are Option A. Nandan Nilkani, Option B. Ajit Dewal, Option C, Y, Venu Gopal Reddy, Option D, A, B, Pandey, Option E, T, S, Vijayan. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is A, B, Pandey. Regulator IRDAI has permitted the usage of OTP or one-time password for opening the e-insurance account as an alternative to electronic signature. As a part of its ongoing effort to improve the insurance penetration, the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India has also permitted the EKYC facility offered by UIDAI which provides the unique identification Aadhaar numbers. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which of the following is not a function of IRDAI? Issuing, renewing, modifying, withdrawing, suspending or cancelling the registrations, protecting the policyholder interest, specifying the code of conduct for surveyors and loss accessors, supervising the income of insurance. Your options are option A1 only, option B2 only, option C3 only, option D4 only, option E none of the above. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is 4 only. Vice President M. Venkai Naidu asked the people to be prepared for higher taxes or user charges in order to realize the dream of smart cities and upgraded the modern infrastructure in the existing ones. While adding that the people would feel comfortable doing so if the things were executed in a transparent manner and with accountability. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which state gets the maximum number of aspiring smart cities? Your options are option A Maharashtra, option B Tamil Nadu, option C Uttar Pradesh, option D Madhya Pradesh, option D Andhra Pradesh. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is Uttar Pradesh. The Ministry of Civil Aviation 
has raised a few objections over the Home Ministry's bid to frame a new law to regulate the unmanned aircraft system, which is also known as UAS, loosely referred to as drones. The Director General of the Civil Aviation has told the Home Ministry that the licensing and the safety of all aircraft, manned or unmanned, was their domain. Recently, the Home Ministry circulated a draft law to regulate the low-flying objects for inter-ministerial consultations. The regulations were circled more than a year after the DGCA put out the draft guidelines for the obtaining unique identification numbers for citizens to use the drones in the public domain. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which of the following is correct regarding the Civil Aviation Policy 2016? India to become the third largest civil aviation market by 2022, enabling the Indians to fly at Rs. 2,500 per hour under regional connectivity scheme at unserved airports and development of regional airports. Your options are Option A, 1 only, Option B, 2 only, Option C, 3 only, Option D, 1 and 2 only, Option E, 1, 2 and 3. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is 1 and 2 only. As the both People's Democratic Party and National Conference raised the issue of Jammu and Kashmir special status during the meetings with Home Minister Rajnath Singh, the leader on Monday said that the centre will not go against the sentiments of the people on Article 35A, which grants the special rights to the locals on property and jobs. Rajnath Singh has told at the conference that there are no issues left to be raised. That is why these issues are being raised. Article 35A has been challenged through three petitions in the Supreme Court, which is again hearing them in November. Let's take a look at the question related to national. From which year the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir implemented? Your options are option A 1956, option B 1965, option C 1968. Option D, 1970. Option E, 1972. You have 15 seconds to type in an answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is 1956. Paying tributes to the Swami Vivekananda on the anniversary of his speech at the World Congress of Religions in Chicago, the Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi on Monday juxtaposed it with 9-11 terror attacks in the US, saying that the World Trade Center tragedy would not have been taken place had the message of love and the brotherhood of the speech had been understood. The Prime Minister was speaking at a function attended by student groups in Vigyan Bhavan here to mark the anniversary of Vivekananda's speech in Chicago, 1893. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which is the first state in the country to become the open defection free in urban areas? Your options are option A, Tamil Nadu, option B, Haryana, option C, Andhra Pradesh, option D, Karnataka, option E, Kerala. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. Answer is Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is the first state in the country to become the open defection free in the urban areas. Chief Justice of India Deepak Mishra has written to the Chief Justices of High Court to explore the possibility of constituting the special benches on Saturday to hear the criminal and jail appeals in which legal aid has been provided. The Chief Justice of India wrote to the Chief Justices of High Courts saying that, that this will go in a long way to ensuring the speedy disposal of criminal appeals or jail appeals. Let's take a look at the question related to national. The Supreme Court at present contains the how many number of judges? Your options are option A 25, option B 31, option C 20, option D 30, 
ऑप्शन ही ट्वेंटी थर्टी फाइव The correct answer is 31. The Union Minister of State for Home Kiran Rijju has said that the government has not yet formed up a plan to deport the Rohingya and had only asked the state governments to identify the illegal immigrants and initiate action under the established procedures. He was reacting to the United Nations High Commissioner for the Human Rights Zaid Rad Al Hasan's statement that the India cannot carry out the collective expulsions or return people to a place where they risk the torture or other serious violations. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which of the pairs given below are correctly matched? Curved Bangladesh Madhisi Nepal, Rohingya Myanmar. Your options are option 1 only, option B2 only, option C1 and 2 only, option D3 only, option E2 and 3 only. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The External Affairs Ministry said that the Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi and his Japanese counterpart Shizu Abe will lay the groundwork for the next level of collaboration during the annual summit meeting to be held in Gandhinagar. The ministry said that the high point of the visit was likely to be the joint inauguration of the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Project and Bilateral Security Dialogue. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which of the states is the first in country to have high speed bullet train in project? Your options are option A Maharashtra and Gujarat, option B Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, option C Assam and Bihar, option D Gujarat and Haryana, option E Tamil Nadu and Telangana. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is Maharashtra and Gujarat. The Union Cabinet has approved the release of an additional 1% of dearness allowance, which is also known as DA, to the central government employees and the dearness relief, which is also known as DR, to the pensioners. This will be applicable retrospectively from July 1, 2017. The government said that the release of its additional installment of the DA represents an increase of 1% over the existing rate of 4% of the basic pay or pension to the compensate for the price rise. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which of the following is or are recommendations of the 7th CPC? Minimum basic pay of 18,000 and maximum of 2.5 lakh rupees per month, one rank one pension which is also known as OROP scheme for the central government staffers, paramilitary as well as armed forces personnel, 3.5% extra DA. Your options are option A1 only, option B2 only, option C3 only, option D1 and 2 only, option E1, 2 and 3. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is option 1 and 2 only. The minimum basic pay of 18,000 and maximum of 2.25 lakh rupees per month and one rank 1 pension scheme for the central government staffers, paramilitary as well as armed forces personnel. Oil Minister Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan has ruled out any government intervention to disrupt the daily revision in the petrol and diesel prices 
despite the 7.3 rupee per liter spike since July, saying that the reform will continue. In view of many states has drastically increased the value added tax, he has expressed the concern about the GST Council to consider the petroleum products in the ambit of GST. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which oil company will operate the India's first petroleum R&D facility for testing the high-end BS 6th quality fuel emissions? Your options are Option A Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, Option B Indian Oil Corporation, Option C Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, Option D Reliance Industries Limited, Option E Shell Petroleum. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is Indian Oil Corporation. The R&D facility will be operated by the state-run Indian Oil Corporation for testing the high-end BS6 quality fuel emission in Faridabad in the national capital region. Highlighting the common strategic interest, the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has said that the India and Japan bilateral ties will shape the Asia-Pacific region. Mr. Abe will hold talks with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the India-Japan annual summit as both sides form up the military and strategic ties. The visit of Mr. Abe is significant in the view of the weeks of long standoff between India and China at the Doklam Plateau of Bhutan when the Chinese diligent rhetoric indicated a negative turn in ties with India. Let's take a look at the question related to national. India has signed the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement with USA, Singapore or Japan. Your options are Option A, 1 only, Option B, 2 only, Option C, 3 only, Option D, 2 and 3 only, Option E, 1, 2 and 3. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is 2 and 3 only. India does not have a CEPA with the USA. The creamy layered ceiling for OBC reservation has been raised to 8 lakh per year. The order issued by the Department of Personal and Training has said that it has now been decided to raise the income limit from rupees 6 lakh to 8 lakh per annum for determining the creamy layer among the other backward caste. Let's take a look at the question related to national. The income limit defining the creamy layer for OBC reservation has been raised to your options are option A 8 lakh per annum, option B 8 lakh per annum, option C 9 lakh per annum, option D 6 lakh per annum, option E 7 lakh per annum. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is 8 lakh per annum. The income limit defining the creamy layer for OBC reservation has been raised by 2 lakh per annum even as the union cabinet approved the setting up of a panel for subcategorization within the other backward classes for even distribution of the reservation benefits. The Union Minister for Labour and Employment Santosh Gangawar has said that the every worker in the unorganized and organized sector would be getting a unique identification number that will make it easier for them to get the benefit under the different social schemes. Mr. Gangwar has also said that his ministry was working towards the compressing of 44 labor laws into four codes, one each for wages, industrial relations, social securities and one for occupational safety, health and working conditions. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which charter is an attempt to bring accountability and transparency in EPFO functioning? Your options are option A, EPFO Charter 2017, 
ऑप्शन बी पेंशन फंड चार्टर 2017 ऑप्शन सी सिटीजन्स चार्टर 2017 ऑप्शन डी ईएसआई चार्टर 2017 ऑप्शन ई नन ऑफ द अब यू हैव 15 सेकेंड्स टू टाइप इन आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो The correct answer is Citizens Charter 2017. The Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Hr. Shri Bhandaru Dattatara, launched the EPFO Citizen Charter 2017, an e-court management system in Bangalore on May 16, 2017. In the light of Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's visit to India, the two countries have signed up a host of agreements for further cooperation in science and technology, including the research into stem cells for making the bone marrow transplants more accessible. The Department of Biotechnology has already has an India-Japan cooperative program that has the Christian Medical College and Hospital of Vellore and Kyoto University Japan as its participants. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which Indian medical college have cooperative program with Kyoto University Japan? Your options are option A SRM Medical College, option B Christian Medical College, option C Stanley Medical College, option D St John's Medical College, option E Kempel Goa Institute of Medical Sciences. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is Christian Medical College. The ambitious project is being implemented with a nearly 90% financial support from and technology from Japan to be built on elevated corridor with a 7 km undersea tunnel in Mumbai. The project will be based on the famed Japan Shinkansen high speed railway system with a record of zero casualty in the 50 years of its operation. The project will be executed through a special purpose vehicle, the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited. Mr Modi said that the bullet train project will take care of the high speed and high growth and high end technology describing it as a new symbol for the new india that his government wants to build by 2022 let's take a look at the question related to national which of the following is correct regarding the india's bullet train project it is the country's first 1 lakh 10000 crore pro- 508 km high rail project 90% financial support from world bank 4000 employees will be trained for execution operation and maintenance your options are option a one only option b two only option c three only option d one and three only option e one two and three you have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below The correct answer is 1 and 3 only. Japan's diplomacy with India during the Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's latest visit highlighted the country's intensifying focus on the Indo-Pacific region and the Tokyo's evolving foreign policy. Speaking to the media, the Japan's government spokesperson laid out that the overarching nature of the new concept free and open indo-pacific strategy that aims to prepare japan to deal with the fast changing global and regional order and threats from china and north korea let's take a look at the question related to national what is the laboratory's name that was set up by the india's department of biotechnology and japan's national institute of science and technology your options are option a dai lab option b labrador option c bio lab option d life lab option e med lab You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below.
the correct answer is dialab the union minister for electronics and information technology mr ravi shankar prasad has announced that after linking the aadhaar card to the pan card the union government would now link it with the driving licenses as well he said that the measure would help to check the manners of the multiple licenses let's take a look at the question related to national which is the faults of the aadhaar card your op it is a proof of citizenship it is a proof of identity it is a proof of age it is a proof of addresses your options are option a 1 and 2 only option b 3 and 4 only option c 1 2 and 3 only option d 2 3 and 4 only option e all of the above you have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below The correct answer is 2 3 and 4 only it is not a proof of citizenship it only guarantees the identity not the rights benefits or entitlements of the citizenship India has sent the another consignment of the aid for rohingya refugees in the Bangladesh the relief was shipped just hours after the external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj has telephoned the Bangladesh prime minister Sheikh Hasina A senior official in the Miss Hasina's office has said that assuring her that the New Delhi has been putting pressure on the Myanmar government to ease the situation. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which term refers to those person who are fleeing persecution and human rights violation from one region of the country and have sought refuge in another region of the same country? Your options are Option A temporary residents option B illegal economic migrants option C internally displaced persons option D all of the above option E none of the above you have 15 seconds to type in an answer in the comment section below The correct answer is internally displaced persons A memorandum of understanding to set up the India Japan Act East form with an aim to marry India's Act East form with Japan's free and open Asia Pacific strategy in the backdrop of China's One Belt One Road initiative is among the major agreements signed during the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's visit to India for the 12th Indo-Japan Annual Summit. Let's take a look at the question related to national India's Act East policy focuses on increasing the convergence on security interests with key partners, promote the economic cooperation, cultural ties, and develop the strategic relationship with countries in the Asia Pacific region, and closer cooperation in combating terrorism. Your options are option A one only, option B two only, option C three only, option D one and three only, option E all of the above. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is all of the above. According to the circular issued on the railway board, the passengers in the reserved coaches can sleep only between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. to allow others to sit on the seats for the rest of the time. The railway is trying to put an end to those tiresome quarrels that break out due to the oversleeping passengers on the middle and the lower berths by reducing the official sleeping hours. Until the circular was issued, the existing permissible time for sleeping was between 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Let's take a look at the question related to national. In which state India's first green train corridor was opened? Your options are option A Andhra Pradesh, option B Telangana, option C Tamil Nadu, option D Maharashtra, option E Gujarat. You have 15 seconds to type in an answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is Tamil Nadu. The Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu has inaugurated the India's first green train corridor 
which is a 114 km stretch between the Rameshwaram and Mana Madura in Tamil Nadu. The Union Urban Development Minister Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri has released a new metro rail policy that focuses on minimizing the use of personal motorized transport and provides the useful guidance on making the viable metro rail proposals. The policy was approved by the Union Cabinet last month. Let's take a look at the question related to national. Which of the following is correct regarding the new metro rail policy? The realization of growing metro rail aspiration of cities in a responsible manner, opening a window for private investments across a range of metro operations, making PPP component mandatory for availing the central assistance for the new metro project. Your options are option A1 only, option B2 only, option C3 only, option D1 and 3 only, option E1, 2 and 3. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is 1, 2 and 3.